Om Shanti, welcome to 11th of February's Call Blessing. Supreme Father wants us to become a bestower and he wants us to become worthy of worship. So he says that may you be a bestower filled with all treasures by being aware of your form of having all rights to sovereignty and of your worthy of worship form. So God is reminding us about two things. That means he is saying that we have all the right towards self-sovereignty. That means in the Sangam Yuga, we have complete control over ourselves. So we become worthy of worship. That means somebody who is in control of his own mind and intellect and habits is someone who is respected by others. As compared to somebody who is wavery and his thoughts, words and actions. So God says, constantly remain aware. I am worthy of worship soul. And a bestower who gives to others. I am not a taker but a bestower. Now in what way do we take? We generally think of physical things or physical aspects when we think of taking from others. But God is saying that even if you are royally begging others for support. If you are royally begging others for guidance. If you are royally begging others for giving you importance or giving you at least some appreciation. Royally begging. You see, we sometimes manipulate or we sometimes twist the words around so that people can remember that, yes, we had done something good for them or we had done something good for the society or for the for other people. So we want something in return. So God says, just as the Father gives you all of you of his own accord, just as the Father gives to all of you of his own accord in the same way, you also have to become master bestowers and continue to give and not ask for anything neither physically nor in any form mentally so he doesn't want us to ask for anything maintain the awareness of your form of having a right to sovereignty maintain the awareness of your form of having a right to sovereignty and of being worthy of worship that means we are getting this goal or we're getting or we're achieving this goal in the future for sure so in this life we should not ask for anything so that we accumulate for the future because if we eat up the name, the fame, the gifts in this life itself, that means we did something and we got it in return. So then in that case, it doesn't carry over into the next birth. Then God says, people have been going in front of your non-living images. God is talking about the deities up to today and asking for something or for protection so you are those who protect not those who call out for protection however in order to be a bestower become full of all treasures by having remembrance in order to be a bestower become full of all treasures by having remembrance good wishes and pure feelings and by doing service so we become full of treasures when we think good about others that means we have good wishes for them good feelings for them pure feelings for them so it affects us because it makes our mind our intellect pure and so we are able to connect to the creator if we have impurity about others in our mind that means his creation or the souls then we cannot be connected to him and by doing service when we serve other souls with spiritual knowledge, we again come in the limelight of Father. So this is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. To know more in details, to visit the Brahma Kumaris Center. Om Shanti.